Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, November the 17th, entitled, How Awesome Is This Place? Now, as we were talking about Sunday morning, uh, noting those special moments in life that define us, that mark a, a, a rite of passage. And Jennifer talked about when they went through the Jordan River and they took stones out of the Jordan River and created a monument and said, whenever people ask, why are these stones here? You can tell them about God's incredible provision. Well, much earlier than that, uh, Jacob, when we talk about the fathers of Israel, there's Abraham, his son Isaac, and then his son Jacob. Now, Jacob was the son of Isaac, and Isaac had two kids, Jacob and Esau. And if you've heard the story of Jacob and Esau, they warred against each other. And first of all, Jacob, uh, quote unquote, stole the birthright. And what he really did was he caught his brother at a weak moment when he was starving because he'd been out hunting and he had some soup and he traded him his birthright for the soup. And his brother always hated him for that, but he was still going to get his father's blessing, which was an incredible uh, uh, part of their culture that you would be blessed by your father if you were the firstborn. But Jacob also works through uh, uh, deceiving his father who was poor of sight and stole his blessing as well. And Esau said, I'm going to kill him. And so Jacob flees for his life. And when he is fleeing and he's out in the desert, sleeping in the open wilderness, he puts this rock under his head. And in Genesis 28, it says that when he falls asleep, troubled and filled with turmoil, God shows up. And if you've ever heard the song, We Are Climbing Jacob's Ladder, I'm not sure a lot why it says we're climbing it, but it says he had a dream in which he saw a stairway rising from the earth and the top of it reached heaven, and the angels were ascending and descending on it. And there above it all stood the Lord. And, the, and, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. And I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are now lying, which was the very Abrahamic covenant that he had spoken to his grandfather, Abraham, that he was going to give him this land. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and all the peoples of earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. And I am with you, and I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land, and I will never leave you until I have done everything that I have promised." Basically, the Abrahamic covenant given again to him at his most uh, perplexed moment. He's being chased by his brother who has threatened murder. He's running for his life, and suddenly God shows up and says, Listen, the promises that I made to Abraham, to your grandfather, and to your father Isaac, they're your promises too. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to be here. And so in verse 16, it says, when Jacob woke up from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. He was afraid. And he said, how awesome is this place? Boy, isn't it great when you're in that moment where you're just overwhelmed, you're perplexed. You don't know how in the world you're going to handle this situation. You don't know what's going to go on. And suddenly God shows up. You have that moment where you just realize that God is not in heaven in handcuffs freaking out about this the way that I am. And then he said this. He said, this, uh, there is, no, uh, this is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. And so it says early the next morning, he took the stone that he had placed under his head and he set it up as a pillar and he poured oil on the top of it. And he called the place Bethel, even though its actual name was Luz. And he made this vow, God, I will trust you and look for you to bring all those promises there. And I'm going to come back. And if I come back to this place and you have truly done everything that you said, I will build a house for you and I will give you a tenth of everything that I have, a tithe of everything that I have. Early on, he recognizes that God is here. And he wanted to take that pillow that he actually laid on and set it up as an actual marker stone, a pillar, to go, this is the place that God met me in my day of 
trial, in my day of perplexity, and said, I am still with you. Trust me. I will walk with you. He goes, I want to remember this place. I want to come back to this place because this place is awesome. This is where I found God in that place where I was overwhelmed and perplexed. I don't want to lose the memory of what God spoke to me here. And as he fulfills it, I am going to make sure that my life becomes a blessing, that I stand for him, that I even give back from the blessing that he has given me. God wants to meet us in our place of need. And then he wants us to mark it and go, this was a defining moment. I trust, I trust God that he has spoken to me and I'm going to walk this out and I'm going to let my life count. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I know for me, in some of those dark moments, in some of those perplexed times when I was overwhelmed, you were not. And Father, I thank you that you show up at those odd moments with just the right person or the right word or the right uh, blessing or the right thing that I need to go. I am not alone. God is here with me. Lord, I ask that as we have those encounters, that you would give us the wisdom to be able to mark those moments, to either write something down or, or get something that reminds us or set up a monument if, if we need to, to go, this is a place where God met me at that moment that I desperately needed him. And that, Lord, we will walk out the fullness of what you speak to us, and we will also allow that to be a motivator to do the things that you put in our heart in the future. Lord, let those moments be ours. Meet us in those moments and help us to capture them in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, set up a stone of remembrance, then walk it out. I'll see you tomorrow.